It's now my pleasure to introduce another very fine student and another success story of junior achievement. Tonight's keynote presentation will be given by Taylor Yarber, who will tell us how junior achievement made a difference in her fifth grade class at Back Creek Elementary School. Please help me welcome Ms. Taylor Yarber. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Taylor Yarber, and I am currently a sixth grader at K-Spring Junior High. It is my privilege to speak to such a distinguished audience tonight about my experience with junior achievement. I would also like to congratulate the laureates on achieving the honor of being inducted into the Business Hall of Fame. One evening this past spring, my mother came home from work and said she would be teaching the fifth graders at Back Creek Elementary School Junior Achievement. Since I had never heard of Junior Achievement before, I didn't know what to expect. I wasn't very excited because to me, it sounded like one more class I have homework for. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong, because the first day of Junior Achievement was a blast. All of the students were asked to get into groups and make up their own business. The companies ranged from a cosmetics manufacturer, a school and office supply store, a sporting goods company, a high-rise office building complex, an advertising company, and even a rock climbing company based at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro called Third Rock from the Sun. <laughs> After we determined what our companies would do, we then decided if they were a partnership, corporation, or sole proprietorship. We also had to determine if our companies made a product or provided a service. Our class took a look at many of your businesses and did the same exercise. In our next class, we were taught about one of the most important decisions a business owner or manager makes. Hiring the right people. Our junior achievement consultant brought a job application from her office and we all began to fill them out. Our teachers, Mrs. Hushauer and Mr. Beheeler, were so pleased to hear that our JA consultant was now reinforcing everything they had been trying to teach us. Spelling, penmanship, accuracy, and even the speed in completing the application were important in getting a job. Education and references were very important as well. We then had two students who set up a mock job interview. We voted unanimously not to hire the person, slouching, chewing gum, looking away from the manager, or asking right away, how much do I get paid? <laughs> Our next class was action-oriented. This was our class on production. We broke into groups of six. One group demonstrated unit production, where each person manufactured individual pins. The second group demonstrated mass production, where each person assembled a section of the pin and then passed it along to the next for completion. My class came to the conclusion that it was faster to use mass production than unit production in manufacturing pens. We also learned that working together as a team makes a company more successful. I have to admit that one of the big highlights of this class was wearing the Tyvek coveralls our JA consultant provided for us to dress in, so we felt like we were working in a real production area. We were now on to advertising. We learned that when you design advertising, you have to grab attention, hold interest, create desire, and obtain action. We developed our own advertising for our companies. We also looked at a number of advertisements from local companies. You may want to hire us 
to tell you what we liked or didn't like about your advertising. <laughs> as we presented our business, our company's business plan. We were challenged with questions about the structure of our business, as well as challenges we thought our business would face. One of our groups had a, had a good idea for their business, but one of the students decided he was going to be the boss and tell everyone else what to do. The rest of the group did not like this, so they did not put a lot of effort into the activities. Consequently, their business plan was not very good. <laughs> the student who not nominated himself president said after the class that he learned a lot about what he does not want to be, and that's a boss. <laughs> I know some of the students will use what they learned in junior achievement to be better employees when they are old enough to work, and may even grow up to be the next Tom Robertson or Sam McNeil. It meant so much to me to have my mother teach the Junior Achievement Program. I have learned a lot about business listening to my mother and father talk about their careers at the dinner table. But I really began to understand the concepts of forming and running a business through my experience with Junior Achievement. I would like to thank my principal, Mr. Weaver, for supporting the Junior Achievement Program at Back Creek Elementary School my mother and father for their encouragement in my education and letting me know I can be anything I want to be. I would also like to thank all of you for supporting Junior Achievement with your gifts of time and money. Please continue to give so that more children like me can grow up with a better understanding of the free enterprise system. We are your future employees. Thank you and good night. The 2001 Business Hall of Fame Laureates. We want to introduce all the previous Hall of Fame Laureates. They are with us tonight. We're very proud to say so. I'm going to call your name and I'm going to ask that all of you stand and we'll hold our applause until the very end. <laughs> 